I gotta tell you though that he'll be 15 next month and uh, it's a uh, scary time for me as a parent because when I was 15, that age, 15, 16, I made a couple really bad choices in my life. I mean, really bad. Uh, 15 was an age where I rejected God, period. And, uh, see, when I was his age, I was a baseball player. That's what I did. I loved baseball. Lived it, breathed it, was just passionate about it. And I was good at it. And I had won an award, an MVP award for an all-star game. And someone very close to me came to me after that game and he said, you know, you have a lot of talent for baseball. And as you move up the ranks in baseball, at some point someone will come to you and say that those talents that you have were God-given talents. Well, this is what you tell them. God had nothing to do with it. And as he got angrier about the, as he was talking, he got angrier and he said those God people, he said the problem with those God people is they're never around when people are doing the work. They're never there when you're hitting balls to your hands bleed or you're throwing balls to your arm falls off. They're never there in those three pickup games in 100 degree heat. They're only there for the finished product. And then they say God gave you those talents, how lucky you are. Well at the age of 15 I bought it, hook, line and sinker. And to be perfectly honest with you, four years later I was completely out of baseball and I was a full blown alcoholic. What I didn't know at the age of 15 was that the hitting balls to your hands bleed, playing games three hours in the hot sun, throwing till your arm falls off, was not hard work. Because I had a passion for baseball. I had a desire to play baseball. I was inspired to play baseball. And what I didn't know was the word inspired literally means God breathed. God breathed into my heart as a child that passion and that desire. And I threw it back in his face. So what scares me as a parent is that my 15-year-old might make the same choice. I don't want someone to get to him at that age. So anytime I see enthusiasm in my children, I remind them where that came from. And I don't care what it is. My 15-year-old came up to me about three four months ago, and he was excited about a chance of getting a bicycle. See, we didn't have any money. He asked me, he goes, are we poor? I said, no, we're broke. <laughs> he wanted a bike, so he's sitting there thinking. I always tell him to pray on it. If you want something, pray on it, man, you know, and if God wants you to have it, you'll get it. So he comes running upstairs, man, a couple hours later, he goes, I got it. We drink Pepsi, right? I said, yeah. He said, well, Pepsi's worth points. I said, yeah. Well, if we drink enough Pepsi, we can get a free, free mountain bike. I said, yeah? Well, how much Pepsi we got to drink? He said, I figured it out. Only 2,000 gallons. <laughs> so I asked him, can you ride a mountain bike without a pancreas? <laughs>